Welcome to GH Pujar Info YouTube channel. Subscribe this channel and also hit the bell icon to get the notifications of all the upcoming videos. I will explain how to perform the laser diffraction experiment. Uh, the aim of it is to determine the wavelength of given semiconductor laser light using diffraction by calculating the grating constant. So this is the aim of experiment what we have. To determine this wavelength we need the some we need some apparatus so these are the apparatus so we need laser source so this is the laser source what we have this is the semiconductor laser this is the semiconductor laser and next we need diffraction grating so this is the diffraction grating placed in the socket so I am placing this diffraction grating in the socket Next uh, we need one image screen. So this is the image screen what we have. One meter scale. So this is the meter scale we are using. So these are the minimum apparatus required to study the laser diffraction. Next in this experiment we are going to find the value of wavelength of a given laser that is using this formula. Lambda is equal to d sin theta m divided by m. So where lambda is the wavelength of semiconductor laser d is the grating constant theta is the diffraction angle can be calculated using the with the help of this equation that is theta is equal to tan inverse of 2xm divided by f and m is the order of diffraction xm is the distance of the mth order diffraction from the central maximum and f is the distance between the grating and the screen this is the grating and the screen. So next to set up this experimental setup. So this is the laser source. This is the laser source. And placed this grating material close to this laser source as shown here. So I am placing this diffraction material or diffraction close to this laser source. Then place this image screen at a distance of 150 centimeter from the grating this is the grating from here to place this image screen at 150 centimeter i am placing this one at 150 centimeter to note on this i am just measuring this distance that is this is the grating this is i am setting the distance this is the grating zero this is 100 that is from here to 150 so this is so therefore I can place this image on this. So now I have adjusted the distance between grating and image screen that is about 150 mm. So note on here. So now the distance between the grating and the screen is 150 cm. Then the number of lines on the grating material that is here in this grating material we have 500 lines per inch so this is one inch material grating material in this one we have 500 equally spaced lines so this consists of 500 uh, lines so note on this is a 500 lines per inch then with the help of this one we can find the value of that is grating constant which is used uh, uh, which is needed uh, to calculate the wavelength that is d value we can find the value of d in this using this formula where d is equal to 1 divided by n where 1 n is the given already that is 500 calculate this one and we have some value that is here we have some values then convert this inch to centimeter because we know that 1 inch is equal to 2.5 centimeter so whatever the value we got here just multiply this one into that is 2.5 then we have in terms of centimeter and convert the centimeter to meter by just multiplying the uh, into 10 raised to minus 2 so here in this experiment after calculation of all this one we have 5 into 10 raised to minus 5 meters this is what we have in the uh, that is grating constant of the material what we are using in this experiment so next 
to find the wavelength of given laser so next setup is we have to set the diffra that is we have to get the diffraction pattern that is how to get the diffraction pattern so first point is switch on the laser switch on the laser and make sure this grating material is placed close to the laser so, so that the laser light is incident on the grating material so the laser now is getting diffracted from this grating material this is the uh, diffracted lines now the diffracted pattern can observe on the image screen so this is the image screen so here we know the diffraction pattern this is the diffraction pattern so this is the central maxima so these are the different orders of diffraction on both sides the first order second order third order fourth order likewise we have number of diffraction order so this is the central maximum first order second order third order and so on similarly we have this side so next how to record this uh, diffraction pattern take a plane sheet and place it on this image and uh, with the help of a pencil or pen note down the diffracted spots so this is the central maxima this is the first order second order third order fourth order fifth order sixth seventh eighth similarly this side 1 2 3 Four, five, six, seven, eight. Once it is done, remove the plane sheet. After removing the plane sheet, so this is the central dark fringe, and uh, note these uh, order of diffractions as one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Similarly, this side one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, and then measure the value of the distance of the order of diffraction from the central maximum. So, for example, from here to here, I can take this one distance as x. From here to here, I can take this one distance as x. The total distance between this first order diffraction from the central maximum can be noted as two x one is equal to whatever the distance. Take the scale. And measure the value of from this center point to this center point. I'm just measuring this value. This is nearly 1. Point, this is 1. This is 1. 1.8 something. So I'm just writing here 1.8 centimeter. Similarly, note on the second order. This is the second order. Similarly, third order. Fourth order, fifth order, sixth order, seventh, eighth. Likewise, you can note down the values of two x two and noted these values in the table. For example, for the first order, for the first order, I am taking this value. I am writing here. This is one point eight centimeter. Centimeter is also there. Similarly. Take the scale and measure the distance from the for the second order from here to here and write it here. Similarly for third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, and eighth. Likewise, we can note on the all the values of that is two x m distance from the central diffraction maxima. Using this one, we can calculate the diffraction angle theta m using the formula. Theta m can be calculated using the formula that is tan inverse of 2xm divided by f. For example, I just calculate one value that is tan inverse of 2xm is the for the first reading that is 1.8 divided by f is the distance between grating and screen that is f is equal to 150 centimeter. So I am just writing this 150 centimeter. And with the help of calculator, you can calculate the value of theta m in terms of degrees and substitute. It. This is how we can get the theta m and then wavelength of laser light can be calculated using the formula that is we already know the formula lambda is equal to d sin theta 
m divided by m. This is equal to d already we calculated. So this is the d value. So that is 5 into 10 raised to minus 5 into sine of. Now theta m is the this the value what we already calculated and substitute here divided by so where m is the order of diffraction for example if you are calculating lambda for the first order then substitute here as 1 for the second order 2 for the third order 3 likewise we can calculate the, this is the order of diffraction and substitute that and calculate it and find the value in terms of as nanometer and take substitute and tablet in the tablet that is how we can calculate the lambda that is of a given length. Similarly, repeat the same for the second order, third order, fourth order, fifth order. Likewise, we can calculate all the values for lambda for the different order of diffractions. Take the average of all the wavelengths what we calculated in nanometers and write the average value. And this is the required value. That is in the result write the uh, wavelength of a given laser light by diffraction method and substitute. So this is the value here.